welcome to ekn automate uh, today we are going to learn about xui setup and another feature in the xui test that is the record and playback this is a very basic feature we have it in xui test and in the entire session we are going to talk about uh, how the ios application test application can be downloaded there are many applications but uh, here we are trying one of the sample application and how to create a target and how to use the record and playback feature in the XUI test. So let's begin. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, this is the project URL, one of the GitHub repository. A sample, here we have a sample code for entire application. Say so this is a application called iOS UI catalog, where we have a basic features like button tags and some of the basic UI components we have it. And this we can use it for our testing purpose. So like this, we'll be having many, uh, applications in the online you can just go and get any one for uh, showcase purpose i am using this particular repository and uh, i will provide this url in the description you can go to uh, this particular repository and uh, download the entire project once you download this is how it looks like if you go to your download uh, folder right and go inside the ui catalog and here we will be having here you'll be having one uh, uh, file called ui catalog dot xcode project this one you need to open right click open with xcode so this open uh, complete ui catalog project in xcode if you expand uh, this ui catalog uh, project you'll be having uh, entire code here this is the source code of the ui catalog application what we need to do first is uh, first we need to build this particular entire application as soon as you open the uh, project, it, it starts uh, downloading some of the libraries and it shows like this running XUI catalog on iPhone. I'm already running the uh, project on the one of the simulators. So I'll stop it and rerun uh, here just to showcase you all. So you click on this play button. It will start uh, building the entire project and you make you need to make sure that whether you have selected the right simulator or not. Here I've created one of the simulator. Yeah, with iOS 18 uh, version and this is how it looks. So it started the application. This is the application we have and uh, here we have some of the uh, different UI components, say, say search box, switches, right, buttons like that. We can play with this kind of application when we are learning. So this is how you will uh, download the application or build the application and you will install the same application in the simulator. Now, what is the next step is you need to create an Apple account for you. What you need to do, click on the Xcode, uh, go to settings. Here, if you see here, account in the account section, we do not have any of the account. So account means Apple account. Uh, I have an Apple account. I have an Apple account created uh, for my email ID. So I'll just enter that email ID here. You can also create one of the Apple account and add that Apple account here. So select the Apple account here and uh, I will enter the email ID. So enter your password. So Apple account got added and uh, it is showing in the account section. Now you can close this one. Now the next step is you need to create a target. Uh, in the Xcode that is very important to run any of the test case uh, on the application, right? You need to create a target. So in the uh, particular project, you can have a n number of targets. So uh, there will be a number of projects inside that uh, consider there is a huge application inside that we will have many, many modules and each module can be addressed as a different target, right? And if I want to execute some of the test case on some modules, I can say this is the target. Similarly, uh, here we are going to define a target. Before creating any of the XUI test, we can go and uh, create a new target so that all the applications, all the so that all the test cases, whatever we are going to execute, will be executed on that particular application. So I'll click on File, New, and uh, click on Target. So here, what you need to do is search for UI uh, testing bundle. So this is how you'll be creating a target. You need to select the UI testing bundle uh, 
as a target type and click on next here it will ask some of the details like what is the product name ui catalog ui test so i am okay with the same name if you want to change the name you can change it and it will show the team name uh, as you already logged in with your apple account it will show that name here and uh, you can add the organization identifier so here we have created a target and uh, this particular target has uh, specific test case say this is uh, one of the test case which we have that is a test example and it has written some of the uh, it has some code also that is uh, it is uh, assigning the application to um, one of the update called uh, app and that opt, uh, app is getting launched here what we will do after launching we are going to do some recording if you observe here in the bottom of the uh, xcode there is a red color button this will help us to record the ui actions what we are going to do on the uh, simulator uh, what i will do i'll just click on this record button yeah now it is recording if you observe as as i'm doing some of the actions on the simulator it is adding some of the code here right i'll just click on these buttons here and if you see here there is one of the statement got added here uh, static text button dot tap okay and after this i will click on this plus button it is going to add one more statement here now i'll click on this cross uh, button and this is one of the uh, statement got added right i'll just go back here uh, from this buttons tab i'll click on this search bar right and it is going to add few more code here and click on the default search here i can enter any of the uh, keywords say mobile right so just entering some of the keyboard to test the uh, recording play record and playback option right and this is how recording looks like and once you see some of the statements here you can just come to this place again and click on stop button it will uh, stop the recording and you can take a look on the code so how this record and playback will be helpful is as we are in a, a beginning stage uh, we are a beginner and we are learning right so some of the format and the syntax and some of the the logics how the xcode xui test identifies the button and how it performs the actions uh, we can uh, check it but we are not going to depend on this fully uh, just to understand how the record and playback feature works and uh, uh, how the different elements gets identified how uh, how we are going to identify the elements those things we can see here but we will see in detail about this each uh, button search bar how to tap it how to search for how, uh, any element how to enter any key into the search bar so all that actions uh, all that uh, exercise we will be doing in a further episode Th this is just to showcase the record and playback of the xui test okay i'll see you in the next video Thank you.